Good afternoon, guys! Welcome to Life Apollo, some of the most trusted beard in automotive news. Happy to have you here! Oh, you can probably tell from the excitement on my face. We've got some incredible stuff to talk about featuring some of my absolute favorite automotive creators. Christmas has indeed come early, guys. Uh, some of the videos that we're gonna start seeing in, in automotive YouTube over the next couple days and maybe weeks or so uh, are gonna be some of the best hyper and supercar collaborations that we've been able to see here uh, in the automotive community for a long long, long time. And right before we get started, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Help the Beard Army grow. We're going for a quarter million subs, guys. A number I never thought possible. Go ahead, smash the subscribe button right now, guys. Let's do it. Beard Nation, let's go. All right, so guys, jumping into our first headline story, here's what happened in a nutshell. As you guys know, we've been covering Gold Rush Rally as it careens across the United States. All sorts of crazy stuff has been happening throughout the course of this incredibly uh, exclusive rally. Some of the people that we've been following a little bit more closely than others. Uh, the big Savage Garage team, including Alex, Joy, Randy, all that kind of jazz. Jimbo's out there too. And I believe it was late last night, a couple of things started to happen that made it seem like we were gonna get some very incredible collaborations when Alex Choi posted a couple things. One, he was gonna be in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, obviously a big question mark was whether or not he was going to go see Stradman when he was out there. And then we got this picture of him apparently sitting in Stradman's Bugatti. Apparently he also posted some videos to Snapchat uh, showing Stradman himself, uh, and I believe the Savage Garage SVJ with the new Gintani exhaust, just going absolutely crazy in like a parking lot. <laughs> Now we were gonna talk about that anyway, guys, but the craziness hit a level that I didn't think was going to happen when Savage Garage's main Instagram account, uh, Randy got on and did a bunch of live feeds directly from Stradman's driveway. And what, what they have there is gonna be probably one of Stradman's biggest videos over the last year. The video starts off and literally they're, they're getting all the cars ready to go inside the driveway. And it's not just the Bugatti, it's not just uh, the SVJ from Randy, it's the Pagani. It's a whole slew of insane gold rush cars and Stradman's personal collection. Just watch. <laughs> It cleared. So after we see them positioning all the cars, we get some uh, very interesting Alex Choi moments. Who broke my key today? Um, well, explain what happened today. It was my fault. <laughs> we see a little bit of Oscar, Pup, and Jimbo uh, sort of uh, having a ball with everybody there. So my female audience on YouTube is roughly 13%, wow. which I believe is unprecedented for an automotive YouTuber. And it's because that guy right there. Absolutely. It's got to be, right? Uh, you know, we, we put, I, <laughs> I put Oscar. Right. And then one of my absolute favorite parts, guys, uh, is at the very end of the live stream, uh, Randy gets on and basically goes uh, car by car, showing all the different cars that are lined up in Stradman's driveway, giving sort of a brief history on all of them. Take a look here. See, let's go through the cars for everybody. So we got the RS6. Wait till we get done with it. It's just gonna be insane. We got Bros Demon. You got Alex Choi's M8 competition. You got the purple Burlacker Mustang. We got our G-Wagon over here. We got Jimbo's insane S65. You got the SVJ with its brand new Gintani exhaust. You've got my Wyra. And then of course you've got James's beautiful Veyron. And that was all we were gonna talk about as well, guys, until a few minutes after the big live stream went live, we got a sort of a, an extra bonus feature that Randy uploaded to his Savage Garage Instagram account. By the way, go follow Savage Garage, go follow Alex Joy, go follow Jimbo if he's on Instagram, and go follow Stradman, and get ready to have those notifications on, guys, because the stuff that they're gonna be doing in their next couple of videos is going to be the stuff of automotive community legend. But anyway, getting back to our sort of bonus video that Randy uploaded to his account, uh, it's 
shows them all standing on the roof. And the footage is great, by the way. Make sure to watch that entire thing and go subscribe to Savage Garage's Instagram account if you want to see all 15 or 17 minutes or so. But at the very end of Randy's roof video, we hear something very interesting in the background, guys. And maybe we already knew this to a certain degree. Stradman talking about one of the next cars he actually wants to buy. Have a listen. Oh, you're going big time. Everybody come over here for All right. So everybody wants to know what it's like when he does this. No, yeah. We can just jump right yeah, you can see everything down here. Look at it. everything's going on, all the cars and everything. I want to get the roadster. Okay, that's yeah. my goal. You've heard about the plot. All right, guys, we're gonna end here. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. But I, I really want to get the roadster. Now that certainly sounds like he's looking to buy a Tesla Roadster. You can almost hear someone talking about the Plaid mode. Obviously, that's the new big update they just put out for Tesla. But obviously, guys, so many crazy things to come. Uh, Savage Garage is normally a couple days behind uh, whatever they put up on their live stream. So I would assume that we're probably going to get something on Savage Garage's main channel and their Clips channel within the next like three to four days, give or take. It's really hard because the editing style that they do uh, is a little bit more intensive can take a little bit more time to get out so we might see something in the next couple days uh, stradman looks to have been filming throughout the entire live stream so knowing that he's sort of a one-man crew in that department for the most part uh, i'm assuming that we're going to see something in the next couple maybe like two or three days there as well he generally uploads in that time frame uh nevertheless guys uh incredible stuff is going to be coming to the supercar and hypercar community like who knew that would be a thing when we started our journey to talk about the the different automotive news space but i cannot stress enough guys Go follow everyone that we talked about uh, because they're probably going to be uploading different parcels uh, of this particular insane day where there was like, you know, three to five million dollars worth of cars all in his driveway. What an incredible thing that must have been for everyone that was there. Oh, I could probably talk about that particular topic for another 10 minutes. We're not going to do that for you guys today because we have some other crazy stuff to talk about. But man, what an incredible day to be able just to witness on the outside. Imagine what it would have been like to actually be there. All right, guys, we're going to move on. Uh, Sadly, our next story is not very happy. Uh, just a forewarning there coming off the high of our first big headline story today. Uh, what we're going to be talking about is the ban on new gas engine cars in California instituted by 2035. This came out from Governor Newsom, I believe it was yesterday, uh, in an executive order that's uh, set to take place uh, in sort of stages up to 2035, where after that date, no new gasoline engine cars will be able to be sold in the state of California. Now, I'm not going to go too political here. Uh, uh, in, the, in the most general of ways, I absolutely hate this. Uh, I think it's a horrible decision from California. Uh, I get the reasoning why they want to do it. They want to get to zero emissions and all that kind of jazz. Uh, we're not going to dive into that too deeply, at least not yet. Maybe like a subject for a different video in the future. From my understanding, someone told me that there might be an exemption for supercars. Although, even if that is the case, there's absolutely no way that is going to be that way by the time that 2035 rolls around. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, there's no way way that Democrats in charge of California would allow, you know, just rich people that have, you know, crazy gas guzzling supercars, I'm sort of taking their viewpoint here for a second, uh, to somehow exist where everybody else couldn't have their gasoline engine car. Anyway, that's sort of the bullet points on the issue, guys. We're going to talk about it more because that that is really going to mean a pretty drastic change for California. And if we see other states follow suit, I mean, this is a little premature, but I mean, you're talking about the end of, of gasoline engine car sales new. That is meant to phase out gasoline engines as a whole going to full electric or hydrogen or whatever you want to call it that is the the direction that they're taking is to purposely uh, and 100 percent stop gasoline engine cars from being on the road because if you can't sell new cars eventually used cars just won't cut it anymore anyway we're gonna move on next up guys big video from burlacker who's crushing it in views right now with his rules for supercar rallies very good video from burlacker that's all i'm gonna say go watch it yourself i think you'll really enjoy it gotta give f spot a huge shout out here guys i almost had a full feature on this uh, in a video I was going to do yesterday, but I got kind of bogged down with some other stuff. Uh, F-Spot found the crazy burned up vandalized Porsche he found during the Beverly Hills protest slash riots. Crazy video. Uh, thing still runs. Go check it out, guys. Very good video from F-Spot if you want to see what happened to that very iconic car now. And because I told you guys I would cover him more Jack Ultra Motive. Great video letting Instagram followers sort of control their lives for a day. Very, very fun stuff from Jack Ultra Motive. Loving his channel more and more every day. Skimming through the rest of the news, guys, we have Tall Guy Car Reviews, Bob
buys his fiance uh, her dream Lamborghini Urus. Who knew that was coming, guys? Fresh off of buying his Aventador, now he's buying an Urus for the fiance. They must be doing pretty well to drop so much money on, on some crazy Lamborghinis so quickly. Congratulations, awesome new car in the process. Then we have Engineering Explained in a video that everybody here should watch, guys, and that is whether or not synthetic oil is bad for old cars. Very interesting video, guys. I talked about it time and time again. Engineering Explained has the best scientific explanations of things a lot of us really could benefit to know if we consider ourselves car people. Go check it out, guys. A fantastic video from Engineering Explained. Breaking it all down for you. Next up, we got Shmi, guys, doing some crazy GT2 RS action on the Autobahn. What do you want more from Shmi, guys? He's killing it with crazy Nürburgring and Autobahn videos pretty much every week. If you want to see uh, incredible super and hypercars taken to their absolute limit, Shmi is providing it in a way that not many channels are right now. Go check it out. Subscribe to Shmi if you're not already. The guy's an OG and brings fantastic content every single week. And a great shout out here, guys, at the end for Throttle House, who reviewed the 2020 Porsche Taycan Turbo S, and the Straight Pipes, who reviewed the Audi RS Q8, the Urus on a budget. And that's all I've got for you guys today. Kind of a crazy day. Uh, I'm still working on the Raptor. Should be done in the next couple days. We had to order a crazy ACC bracket in uh, from ADD. Uh, took a little bit of time to get that in. Apparently the entire front half of the car could not be put back together until we had that bracket. I did go film a little bit today that we'll probably throw into our actual reveal video. Anyway, have a fantastic day. We'll catch you later. I'm out of breath. Bye.